you guys have been loving the boat trip videos. So I shall continue delivering. And today we're gonna be exploring the beautiful islands of Coral. So this no. boat trip does not include food, so therefore we had to get some McDonald's. <laughs> Mickey D's, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I got some good old chicken with pancakes. Let me tell you, it's better than America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay because we're on the water, so we just dip them. And you're in the Philippines, so it's normal to eat with your hands. So in total, to rent the boat, it was 3500 between everybody, and we're going to four different locations. But the thing is that here in Korong, you have to pay an environmental fee for each location. One of them is 300 pesos, the other one is 200 pesos, the next one is 200 pesos, and the other one is 150 pesos. So if you add, add all that up, we're paying this price for each person for the whole trip. Make sure you have a lot of pesos because you can't use credit cards. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm still waking up, man. <laughs> Look at the water. Oh my God. It's so clear. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got here to Kayang Lake. And here we're actually going to get off the boat and climb 300 steps up some type of mountain. I don't know which one. And supposedly the view from up there is epic. Right there. Oh, there. Look at the steps. All right. You guys ready for a walk? Well, I guess so. <laughs> got the coffee in me. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> in the sun. explain to us that actually we're going up these stairs not only for a view but there is a lake up there <laughs> actual, actual lake. <laughs> bring in the mask <laughs> and it turns out that it's uh i think he said 70 70 fresh yeah and no 70 spring 30 percent salt and like 10 percent something one of those but it's a combination of the Wait, two but so far the trip pretty promising this view this place is incredible it's literally untouched the water, the mountains, everything is so fresh and feels like you're in the rainforest, no doubt. And here it is. Cool. Yo, check out this place, my people. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, fill that bubble ring. You want to hold it? Yeah. I saw the underwater scene in these cliffs were crazy because the cliffs kept on going down all the way in the ocean and these girls man so they're like professional um, divers and they would go down so deep all the way to the bottom and because it's 60% fresh water 
you don't float as much and it was easier for them to be down there. And they got some incredible shots, I have to say. With you, the sun is shining 24 seven. Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Ooh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree. If I be a shooting star, you make a wish. No, I don't fake this kind of feeling. Never felt so. We just arrived to Barracuda Lake, and actually, um, we just parked over here. But we have to pass by one, two, three boats to get to the main place. When you're around, I know it's true. Ooh, ooh, the way you make me feel is so good, baby. So good, so good. Every single day was found a part I want to be with you. Hey guys, so here in Barracuda Lake, there's actually Barracudas. And the, the gentleman just explained to me that they're about one meter big. So we're gonna see if we can find some. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty awesome. But the view is spectacular, I have to say. Very, very good. actually got to see the barracuda guys. Pretty beautiful animal and bigger than I expected. Um, Some gnarly teeth that'll look at you. It's kind of scary. <laughs> what happened whenever you were diving down there? Down oh and yeah dude. So I would say about like 30 feet down there's like this like thermal layer that like once you hit that thermal layer it's like a hot spring and when you look out towards that direction of the lake it's just like this heat like hitting your face and that area was like that area was like more like salt water and then this was fresh water so like you could see the layer of the different like I don't know it was, it was crazy easier to breathe down there as well yeah because it was warmer like I could hold my breath a lot longer and then I was like oh crap I gotta come up so then when you start coming up then you start losing less more oxygen you're like ah but yeah it was pretty cool Okay guys, we just arrived to Twin Lagoon and just look at this place, the water. I never thought the water could actually get clearer than what I've seen in the past, but it can. Check it out. And so from here, we have to actually swim to one of the lagoons. And according to him, there's also a cave that you have to go under. So let's go explore and see what Twin Lagoon is like here in Karong. So basically, to get to the other side of the lagoon, we have to go under a cave. Let me show you. Let's do it. <laughs> I saw this animal, or I don't know what it was, a part of the reef, but it would like close and open. Oh, like a clam. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I saw a jellyfish stuck. 
You know how they only go in one direction? Yeah. He went he went down too much and he was just hitting the rock. He was just oh. going, he was like bam, bam. He was just, <laughs> Maybe he was retarded. I didn't want to move because he was going to sting me. I was like, sorry buddy, you're on your own. <laughs> so yeah guys, now we're going to leave the Twin Lagoon as you saw, pretty beautiful. I think the coolest part was going under that cave. Um, it just, she, she was saying that if you look at the top, it looked completely different to what you were seeing around you. I couldn't see that because I obviously I'm not the best swimmer. I don't have those flipper things, but nevertheless, it's a really special place and the water, the water here is something I've never seen before. It's incredible. So yeah, overall, beautiful spot. And now we're headed to the next one. Alright guys, next stop is Skeleton Shipwreck where there's actually an actual shipwreck in the ocean. We're gonna see, uh, I've never really seen one before so I'm interested to, to see what it really is about. Actually, I just found out that it's a World War II shipwreck. I don't know if you guys can see but it's all the way out there. So we have to swim out there and it's about 4 meters deep. I'm not sure how big it is or wide it is, but the girls have a GoPro and they'll record that for us. And let's go check it out. That was the shipwreck. It was eh, not that crazy, but it was kind of cool. What I really liked was the little fishes that were everywhere. They seemed to be friendlier than any other fish. They would come up to you and you know, swim around you. Uh, but yeah, that is the last destination of the whole boat trip. I think it was cool. It was awesome. Um, very diverse and the water and the quality of water was just next level, guys. I've never seen something like it. So when you come to Karung, no doubt, to a boat trip now we actually booked this boat trip ourselves so we got our private tour but uh, something that I have to say is that if you have to bring your snorkel and your mask I saw that other like group tours if you book in a group you'll probably be around more people and also it would cost about the same price and it includes food this one does not include food and they give you a, a mask and a snorkel I had to bring my own um, I didn't have a mask so I had to rent one and it was 150 pesos to rent one but overall it was a fantastic day and I highly recommend it to come to Korong if you're looking for more of a chilled out island Ooh. vibe Trying to play. <laughs> Holy shit, you scared me. I was like, who's that? <laughs> Hello. And make sure to follow these girls on Instagram. They're always traveling. They create awesome, awesome, beautiful <laughs> pictures and videos. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. You know I'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. We really appreciate it. And if you're already subscribed, just hit that like button and comment down below what you think. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cristian Rodriguez, bye. <laughs>